Hey, what's up everyone? John of the Geek here, and today I'm going to be showing you this really cool app for the iPad, and it is called uh, Splash Top Win 8. So, uh, I have another video showing you Splash Top and controlling Windows, but this particular version of Splash Top is now specifically made for Windows 8 to utilize many of the uh, multi gesture controls for uh, Windows 8 that's built into Windows 8. So right now I'm on my Windows 8 machine, as you can see here, right? And I'm going to be downloading and installing uh, the Splashtop streamer uh, made for Windows 8. And so I'm on the Splashtop website here, and if you look right down where it says here, Windows 8, click on that. And then we're going to go ahead and download the streamer, right? So uh, links to this um, Splash Shop streamer for Windows 8 is uh, going to be in the description. And if you want to get uh, Windows 8 installed on your machine, I have two videos. One is installing it as a virtual machine and uh, another is installing it uh, natively as a uh, regular straight up OS uh, onto a, your hard drive um, so that's what I'm running right now so uh, once this downloads I'm going to install that and then we're going to connect to Windows 8 using the iPad app and by the way don't forget uh, while you're downloading um, the app here to also register your email address so that you can receive the latest and greatest and updates from Splashtop so I'll just go ahead and do that now. All right, so now that the file has been downloaded, I'm gonna go ahead and double click to install the program. It's pretty straightforward, simple, easy to install, very small footprint. All right, so uh, you may get this Windows security uh, option here and just click on Always Trust Software from Splashtop Inc. Or you don't have to, but uh, you could just click on Install if you want just to make it more convenient but uh, it uh, it does need that um, uh, installation to happen right and so that's pretty much it it's finished downloaded and installed and uh, you're presented here with this uh, this menu so we we'll click on go and then uh, go ahead and uh, leave this help improve product by submitting anonymous crash connectivity and usage statistics. It helps them out to create a better product. So click on accept. All right, so the security code. This is the code that you're gonna use to enter in um, in the app here so that uh, you can connect to your um, Windows machine, your Windows 8 machine, right? So uh, whatever it is you type here, it's what you're going to be typing in the iPad app. So remember what it is that you type here. And uh, I do believe you need at least uh, eight characters. And it must contain at least one number and one letter. So click on next, finish. That's pretty much it. Um, one thing that I like to also include is uh, being able to uh, connect through the internet, right? So by using your Gmail account, which I'll go ahead and fill out here, as well as uh, when you fill out this information on the iPad app, um, you're also going to be able to connect via the internet. Right, so I'm signing into my Gmail account, and it's signed in. And uh, later, uh, the second half of this video, when I'm actually connecting, I'll show you this whole process on the iPad app. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's very simple and easy to do. And now uh, we're going to be connecting to it um, uh, with the iPad. All right, so I've got a Splash Top uh, Streamer running on my desktop here, and uh, here is the app, and I'll go ahead and fire that up. 
um, the splash top streamer is set to always down, uh, run whenever I start Windows. All right, so uh, here are the uh, machines uh, that's on my network that it detected um, that's connected to the splash top uh, software. And so uh, my iPad here is connected to, uh, to the wireless network as well as uh, my desktop here is also just happens to be connected to uh, wireless network, but um, it could also be connected to through Ethernet. Um, but uh, it's on the same network, right? And so here are the machines. These are other machines that are also connected on my network. And so uh, basically when I uh, click on uh, Windows 8 here, which is the, this machine here, I uh, can go ahead and establish a connection and uh, brings up this hints control bar which is really nice uh, to have and I'm gonna always uh, let that show so I can remember what these buttons do and what they are right and then uh, there's another hints um, bar here and it just tells you that uh, this is the uh, keyboard button and if you double tap it brings up the uh, control bar here which lets you disconnect, help, uh, lock the orientation, uh, some other buttons here, I'm not sure uh, this is to uh, oh, uh, make it smooth and sharp so the screen here can go to sharp and then it just sharpens up the, uh, the text so that it's readable right and then um, a touchpad for whatever reason you want to use a trackpad mode, right? Um, and then what else? I'll just turn that off for now. And this, I'm not sure what this does. Oh, uh, multiple monitors, I guess, or multiple screens. The keyboard button. And then also your traditional keyboard right so that's the uh, control um, bar there which is really nice and uh, as you can see um, I am controlling the uh, desktop and so then I'll just go ahead and bring up the windows so if I hit the windows key here now I have the Metro UI and you'll see so uh, earlier when you installed a splash top and it asked to install the uh, device driver essentially uh, the app uh, now sees it as a multi gesture um, device that you installed so the program the splash top streamer is uh, running as also as a, um, a device a, a hid device uh, HID so it's like a kind of a uh, a keyboard it's an input device like a mouse or a keyboard and so basically this app is telling that um, uh, device uh, which is telling Windows that uh, it's a uh, gesture control um, device so um, in here in Windows 8 the consumer preview if you swipe to the right right or from the right in right so if you swipe this way um, you'll see it'll bring up the charms menu don't ask me why they call it that but it's a charms menu and you can go into the settings here right and uh, choose different things uh, you can go to more settings and uh, all of this is controllable right all right so if you swipe left here it'll start up uh, previous apps um, that you were in so uh, we'll go back to start and let's say I'll do Internet Explorer here and uh, this was a previous um, uh, website that I was on and if you go left or right it'll go to the previous pages right that you viewed so these are the this is how you go in between pages if you swipe down um, it'll bring up other menus here but uh, for this particular app which is Internet Explorer uh, the other uh, additional options here is to view multiple pages so these are like the tabs that you would have here alright so uh, one last gesture is if you uh, 
kind of slide out here you'll kind of see this if you go uh, from right and then left you'll see that uh, it kind of brings out uh, another sidebar menu here and these are the apps kind of the history of uh, different things that you've been running so let me go back to my apps let me run something else I'll go to the desktop here and I'll go ahead and run um, let's see I'll run this program uh, this video file here that's another great feature from uh, Splashtop is that you can play um, videos Oh, it's the first time I've used this. Uh, you can play videos and uh, sound and everything goes through, so it does a really good job. Right? Alright, so that's enough of the me there. Let's quit that and then. Um, then there's certain apps uh, like Hulu, which I don't think, uh, to my knowledge, they make a um, iPad app version. And uh, this is another thing that you could do that you could be using um, Splashtop for is to be viewing content that uh, you couldn't otherwise do on, on, on an iPad. So everything seems to be running really good, really smooth sound on here is really good the audio is synced right let's see and then let me just go through oh it's still running in the background how do I get out of here oh there we go yeah so that's how, how you close the app I guess um yeah so that's pretty much it uh, for now what I guess I want to do uh, let me see if I can open up this uh, PSD file here with Adobe Photoshop CS 5.5 which runs just fine on uh, Windows 8 here a lot of the apps uh, a lot of the programs in Windows 8 works just as if they were uh, in Windows 7 don't pay any attention to that because uh, this particular file was created on another machine and I may not have the necessary files to get this thing uh, working but that's it's just uh, my own fault um, yeah whatever all right so that's pretty cool um, man, go away. all right so uh, I'm not about to attempt to do something in Photoshop here whatever uh, yeah so there's a uh, Photoshop for you all right so uh, one last app I can show you uh, would be the office programs and let's go out to the office programs which by the way um, this computer this demo that I'm showing you now my computer is actually rendering something down here so I'm actually uh, uh, rendering some video and uh, it's pretty responsive uh, Windows 8 itself as well as this app and being on the network and stuff like that so uh, yes here if you for whatever reason uh, you need to type stuff uh, this is a really good program really good app to use oh well, that's not a good keyboard this is a much better keyboard to use so you can be typing up using word excel um access whatever all of your office programs running straight off of here off of the ipad using uh, splash talk all right and uh one last um thing that i'm gonna do is uh, i'm actually gonna go out to an area where i have uh, at&t 4g lte connection because this a uh, particular iPad is uh, LTE compatible and uh, I have a plan that I just signed up and I want to test out this app on um, on 4G LTE so uh, basically stay tuned for that uh, that video is going to come very soon um, it's probably going to be a link to it right here right and so um, definitely check it out oh by the way um, this 
particular app is uh, $24.99 right now on, on the um, App Store, but uh, it will actually be uh, $49.99, so definitely get this app now um, at a good price. Um, if uh, this is something that you want to do, I highly recommend this app because it's great to to be able to connect to your Windows machine. It doesn't have to be Windows 8. You don't have to have a Windows 8 machine um, to use this app. You can use this app to connect to uh, uh, Windows 7 machines. So let me go through here and disconnect. Oops. Disconnect. And I'll click on, All right? So I'm connecting to my Windows 8 machine or I'm sorry Windows 7 machine and so here is my Windows 7 just exactly like uh, the uh, Windows uh, 8 machine so it works just fine all right and uh, yeah so that's pretty much it please rate comment subscribe thumbs up thumbs down links and whatnot be in the description thanks for watching I'll catch you later